for the hint for something else. Oh, ooh! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well, wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, I might get something fun. It's a little bit late, I know. You'll be seeing it tonight. Um, I'm gonna upload it straight away for you guys. Um, it was Halloween when it arrived. I know some people have already got theirs now, but I, I was out eating lots of food, trick-or-treating, well, handing out sweets to trick-or-treaters, should I say, watching scary films. So, I just didn't get a chance to open it, but we're gonna go through November's Lush Kitchen subscription box. If you haven't seen the vote for this month's box, go check it out first, it's on my video. I'll link it at the end or in the description box. Go check that out so you can get an idea of what's up for vote. But for now, let's open up. Now, I'm just gonna take some bits out. I can just see something really cute. Well, that was a very unflattering face. This box smells very good. Oh, this is so, so cute. I can just see something on the top here. Look at that. So it says, oh, it smells so good. It says, indulge in cozy delights. Okay, so I'm not gonna, oh, oh look at that. I need it, I need, I'm gonna frame this. This is so cute. I don't know how well you can see it because my lights are so bright. It's a, it's a lady with a cat and, and they're reading a the book and then, and then there's a person in the bath and they say, I'm, I'm not going to read that yet because I don't want it to spoil the surprise. But look, we've got some, we've got a little person here, we've got a kitty cat, we've got some leaves, some cozy socks, little eye mask. Oh, that's so cute, some little stickers. What a nice little treat. I love stickers. I really kind of wish that they'd put like a sticker or a pin or something in there every month. Just something fun on, on, like a little top, like a little on top sort of a treat. But anyway, let's put my hand in the box where I can feel something here. Oh, we have, aha, yes, we have a fireball bath bomb. Mm, I voted for this one. This is Cinder's Scented. It smells so good. Um, Vesuvio Bubble Bar, Cinder Shower Gel, the Nutkins Face Mask that we got in Fresh and Flowers box last month. Oh, delicious. It's spicy and creamy and sweet, like winter marzipan. It's delicious. Something very, very moorish about that. So obviously it's yellow, orange and red. It's got a little bit of gold luster on it. And I, off the top of my head, I'm sure it's got popping candy in it. And it's a nice, foamy, slow fizzer in the bath, so it creates lots of swirling bath art. I actually was gonna do my eyeshadow in a very similar sort of color scheme, just because of, of the vote last month. Um, but then I ended up doing this instead. <laughs> what we got next? Ooh, we've got a bottle of, ooh, Tai Tai shower gel. So this is enzymic fresh citrus, Sorry, enzymic fresh citrus combined with enli enlivening ginger and cinnamon for seriously brightening lather. So this, if I recall, is a lovely thick shower gel. Yeah, you can see it there. And it literally smells like a Christmas candle. You've got that lovely citrusy smell with the spice coming through. It's a lot more subtle. Mm, it's a lot more subtle than the other shower gels that we've had recently, but it's delicious. And in here, you've got ginger root infusion, you've got uh, fresh tangerine juice, you've got cinnamon leaf oil, Brazilian orange oil, titanium dioxide, really, really lovely and fresh. It says, this form is packed with ginger root infusion to warm and relax sore or tense muscles. Cinnamon is well known for its fragrant, spicy, and intensely warming scent. Love this. It's <laughs> Would I like a medium shower gel? Of course I would. But do I have a lot of shower gels? Yes. So, hey ho, it is what it is. Right, coming over this side. Oh, I feel a box. Oh, it's got gold glitter on it. Is that a hint for something else? Oh, what we got here? We got, oh, we got a little perfume. Can you see what it is? I can't see what it is. Is that upside down? Turn it around just in case it's upside down. There we go. What does it say? Ooh, Yognog. So Yognog is a bit of a Marmite smell for me because I do like it, but it's not my favourite smell at Christmas. But I know a lot of you guys really, really love it and you miss the fact that the body spray wasn't here. So I think it's really nice that we got it in a fragrance. I'm going to pop that on the skin. Mmm. Oh no, it is pretty good in a perfume. 
so like warm spice caramel you've got like maple syrup in there really sweet and sugary but kind of got this kind of warm spice around through it. it's got clove in it off the top of my head but the clove doesn't overpower it i know sometimes when people see clove they're like oh god it's gonna be like kind of almost antiseptic but no this is gorgeous this is lovely and warm so it says um you've got ylang ylang oil clove but oil um and obviously you've got the fragrance in there that makes yognog what yognog is okay we've got a pot <gasps> of the Yognog body conditioner. Okay, now I didn't vote for this because we hadn't had it that long ago. And again, I'm not the biggest fan of Yognog. I'm, I like Yognog, why do I say this? I like Yognog, I'm just, I'd rather have something else. But it smells divine and obviously a body conditioner, it's lovely and thick and I will absolutely use this up. It's very, very rich. So you've got in here maple syrup water, almond oil, glycerin water, fair trade shea butter, fair trade organic cocoa butter, oat kernel oil, organic alipi oil, um, glycerol stearate, clove bud oil, ylang ylang oil, titanium, I don't know why I said that way, titanium dioxide. Lovely and rich. So what you do is you would have a wash, say, with your tie tie, and you smooth this onto damp skin. You leave it to soak in for a couple of minutes whilst you're in the bath or the shower, and then you rinse it off. It's a very intense, low, like kind of in shower body lotion. So it's great for those who want that winter moisture, but without that kind of like difficulty of putting your clothes on. If your skin is quite dry, you could probably use this as a very rich body lotion. What we've got over here, we've got to have something else. Oh, oh, we have the golden pear body scrub. So although I am the biggest fan of golden pear, you probably ever know, I didn't vote for this because we had this last year. So we had the Yogno body conditioner, I think in 2020, 2021. We definitely had the golden pear last year. And then we had the fireball in 20, I want to say 2018, 2019. So a lot of new stuff uh, that we've had recently that I didn't really vote for because I wanted some stuff that maybe we haven't had in a long time. I really do like this. So this is a very lightweight, a moisturizing body scrub it's obviously a naked body scrub you've got a little bit of popping candy in there and golden pear it's really fruity and fresh it's pureed pear and cardamom it's almost like someone's poached a pear put that beautiful cardamom syrup all over it. it's delicious it is really fruity and yummy but it has that winter spice coming through now i'm just gonna have a little feel through just in case there's anything else i don't think there is nope no more on here. So let's talk about, oh God, I've just knocked the pack and peanuts everywhere. Let's talk about what is inside these products that are naked. So the Fireball Bath Bomb, you have fresh ginger root infusion, fresh tangerine oil, cinnamon leaf oil, Brazilian orange oil, titanium dioxide, got a little bit of lactic acid. It smells incredible and I'm very excited to use this in the bath. Then you've got the Golden Pear Body Scrub, Fine Sea Salt, Fair Trade Organic Cocoa Butter, Popping Candy, Capacci Butter, a Cream of Tartar, Pear Powder, Organic Jojoba Oil, Coarse Sea Salt, Cardamom Oil, um, Brazilian Orange Oil, Sandalwood Oil, Prickly Pear Oil. It smells really good. It's kind of like if you like the Partridge in the Pear Tree bath bomb, you're gonna really enjoy this. Partridge in the Pear Tree bath bomb is like as if Golden Pear and So White or Once Upon a Time had a baby. You can really smell the pear in this, it's delicious. Um, would I say this is my favorite box? No. <laughs> um, I like all the things in it. I, I, I do wish that maybe the body conditioner had been in like a two, like a 250 gram pot. Um, but obviously we do have the fragrance in here. So we've got a fragrance here and we've got a vote for a fragrance for December. Does, does this mean that we are gonna get a collection box? It just seems really odd now for two perfumes. I personally really hope that we get a, another fragrance box. I like the collectible side of these subscription boxes. I would have really loved a pin badge for this month, like last month, maybe as a fireball. Um, just, yeah, I would have loved a pin badge, but I do like all the contents of the box. It's just not my 100% favorite things. I was hoping maybe some more kind of surprises in the box. 
looks. Maybe December will be that. Just Halloween was just so glorious in every shape and form. We had all those products and we had two swag things. I, I just want more when they when they when I know that those boxes can be as big as the October one. I kind of think, well, if you can make it that big, make every box that big. Go all out. Yeah, go all out. But I do love everything. I'm very excited to obviously use the tie tie. I think that'd be amazing for these winter months. And obviously the golden pear smells delicious. So I'm gonna really enjoy everything that I use. But let me know what you think of this box down below. Do you love the contents? Would you change something else? I do owe you a Sarah selection for October. So you're gonna have two Sarah selections this month. Um, I'm looking forward to choosing my things for this box and what I would have put in. But yes, let me know what your favorite things were out of the box what you would change and um, have you subscribed to the box because of this and what you've missed out let me know okay so I didn't tell you what was up for vote that's really bad I'm sorry so what was up for vote this month you had the tie tie shower gel obviously that was a yes for me always going to say yes to a shower gel then you had the um fireball bath bomb of course, I said yes to that. You had the Spice Curl Soap, which I'm really gutted that it wasn't in. Would have loved a winter fiery soap. This was such a delicious, warm, autumnal smell. Really, really gorgeous. That didn't come in, but that was up for vote. You had the Golden Pear Body Scrub, which I didn't vote for because we'd had it last year. We had the Yog Nog Body Conditioner, which I didn't vote for. And we also had the uh, Phoenix Bubble Bar. Um, I didn't vote for this because it, it really smelled like a fisherman's friend sweet. Very, very, very strong. Um, Though once it had muted down, I, I kind of regret now not buy, buying it, voting for it, because I think it would have been lovely. It did not look the best, but sometimes it's all about how it makes you feel. Oh, I forgot to read this card out. So it says, indulge in cozy delights. Nestle yourself in the comfort and scents and luscious lathers. Relax in Fireball's warm and spicy cinnamon leaf. Tai Tai's fresh ginger infusion, golden pear's exfoliating sea salt, and Yog Nog's softening shea butter. Seal it all off with an intoxicating creme brulee fragrance to take off your relaxation to new heights. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and let November's exclusive products cloak you in warm in a warm and loving embrace love that love that i like these little cards they're really cute but thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you really liked it you can subscribe to the channel we're on our way to 3,000 subscribers i'm going to do a giveaway at 3,000. haha <laughs> and um, ring the notification bell so you're notified when i post a new video and of course i'm going to see you all in the next video